In times of revival, people will demonically manifest and therefore we have to go and cast those demons out or off the person in the name of Jesus Christ. Perhaps when the person slithered along the floor, the demons are already leaving. In the case we read about Jesus, the boy was foaming at the mouth. The demons were leaving because Jesus was there in his very presence. Amen. It, it, there's a, a, an email that has come in on, on this theme which says, sounds a bit like the revivals nowadays that people are condemning with signs and wonders. And there's about five exclamation marks, uh, exclamation marks after it. But this is our difficulty, isn't it, of, 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 of knowing whether something is of God yes. or whether something really is of a false religion and false emotion. Many times there's a lot of froth, but without the, the fruit. And the only test of revival is focus on the cross, focus on Jesus Christ, glorifying God, allowing the, the Holy Spirit to have his way, but change lives. And that's the fruit in my life, in your life, in the congregation, congregation's life. And also, the community can be completely and utterly changed. God can so rend the heavens and pour out his spirit that literally the, the whole atmosphere has changed.